From Newton's apple to Columbus discovering America, stay tuned to number one to find out 10 historical myths that are taught as facts. Number 10. All the Inhabitants Currently in the world today, there are about 8 billion people, if not a lot more. It's hard to keep track with censuses and all that. A historical fact that has been taught by people of all ages is that there are more people alive right now than have passed away in the entirety of history. On the surface, this seems kind of factual. After all, the early days of human life was very segregated in terms of what regions we lived in. Only once expansion happened did bigger and bigger numbers rise. So if you don't start counting until that point, you wouldn't get that many people that have passed away before you reach the modern times and the 8 billion we have right now, right? Wrong. Here's the thing that people often forget. Even if we were to start our count of human life when humans were the only hominid on the planet and they started building their communities, that's a big guess as to how many were around. And then, who stayed around? What do I mean by that? Well, people pass away. A lot of them do. Long before the age of modern medicine, a simple cut could have taken a person out early. There was also the passing of children, where we have no idea as to how many were born and lost in the arms of their parents. Multiply those facts by the numerous nations, cultures, and types of people that live all around the world, and of course, the time we've had from the ancient days until now. And I'm sure you would get a number that is more than likely greater than 8 billion people, if not bigger. Number 9. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. There are many points in history where you honestly have to wonder if humanity had gone to the dark side of the Force. And one of those times was when Spain unleashed the Spanish Inquisition. This purging led to a lot of deaths, and for a lot of reasons that are mind-boggling looking back at them. But because of this time period, and a show called Monty Python, a legendary phrase has come forth. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. The intent of this phrase is that you never know when they're coming for you, and that they can come in an instant. Well, this is false. Actually, the Spanish Inquisition was quite good about letting people know that they were coming. Not to increase fear per se, but to get people to confess to heresy of the highest order. In fact, they were so good about it that they would go to an area, go to the local church, and read out an edict stating their intentions. They would then give about a month's time to allow people to think about what they had done and confess. So yeah, they did expect it. Sorry, Monty Python. Number 8. Franklin and his Kite Before we cover this famous picture of history, take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by using the buttons below. One of the saddest parts of history in terms of what we're told is that sometimes the stories they reveal are so wonderful and fascinating but we can't help but to believe them. One of the biggest examples of this is of Benjamin Franklin and his legendary kite experiment. According to the story, Franklin wanted to get a better understanding on how electricity worked. For the record, he never discovered it. It was already known about in part during his life. So he made a kite. He flew it in a lightning storm, waited for the kite to get struck, the lightning would then go down the string towards a metal key, and then Franklin would touch the key, seeing if electricity could indeed go from one source to another. A fascinating experiment, albeit one that is never actually proven to have taken place. In fact, this story was first told 15 years after it supposedly happened, and given Franklin's eccentric nature, it's highly unlikely that he would have actually waited that long to showcase his discovery. What's more, an episode of Mythbusters proved that had Ben Franklin actually gotten his kite struck by lightning, the burst or even the touch from the key would have killed him instantly. Now, there is some debate on this. Some claim that the experiment was different, or that Franklin had insulated himself and only used the key to see if electricity could emanate from it. But either way, this experiment is not historical fact. Number 7. The Pilgrims and Religious Freedom Here's one thing that'll alter how you think about the first Thanksgiving. According to legend, the Puritans left England and sought the New World because they wanted religious freedom for they feared the Church of England. Turns out, not so much. In fact, the pilgrims were quite notorious for harping on their religion being the only one that mattered. They would oppose, exile, or even restrict the rights of those who didn't follow their own religion. 
In fact, the only reason that we have the freedom now is because of the Founding Fathers. They wanted to create a separation of church and state, which became the basis of not just the new government, but also the First Amendment. So while the Pilgrims did escape England, it wasn't for the reason you think. Apparently, they just didn't want their children to be Dutch-led. Number 6. Flat Earth Honestly, I can't believe that this is still a thing. Seriously though, at one point in time, there was a belief that the Earth was flat. For the record, that may have made sense back in those days. They had no idea about planets, orbits, or even where the edges of the world were. So when people don't understand something, they often come up with a suggestion or an idea that makes sense to them. Hence, Flat Earth. However, when it came right down to it, not many people truly believed it. For while the ancient people weren't as technologically advanced as we are today, they weren't fools. Many people noticed that the sun and moon went across the sky in an arc shape. If the Earth was flat, it wouldn't do that, right? Many ancient pictures and carvings from ancient societies seem to point to them knowing about the roundness of the Earth in some way, shape, or form. But sadly, though in small number, the notion persisted to the point that there are still people today called the Flat Earth Society that wholeheartedly believe that the Earth is actually flat. So does that mean that people in ancient times were smarter than people in modern times? It's possible. Number 5. The Red Phone Let's talk politics. There was a time when communication between nations was actually very difficult in the modern age. Yeah, we had the telephone and other means, but communications across countries was very hard. This was personified in the year 1962 with the Cuban Missile Crisis, where the United States and the Soviet Union almost went to war all because their communication was bad. Thus, a popular myth came to light, that of the Red Phone. A mysterious phone that was a direct line to the Kremlin, the Russian president's building, from the White House. Many movies and commercials showcased this phone, and the people did believe it was there. But it wasn't. Or at least it wasn't a telephone. In fact, it was really a telegraph of sorts, one that had to travel across many countries to even reach the Kremlin. Eventually, though, the president did get a better way to contact the Kremlin, but it wasn't for a while. Number 4. Newton's Apple Sir Isaac Newton is one of the most important figures in science, as he helped develop the theory of gravity, orbits, and the laws of motion. But the most legendary thing about him is something that is 100% false. An apple never fell on his head, and he didn't suddenly know about gravity. Rather, he saw an apple fall down and started to ask questions. If you don't believe me, believe him and his own friend who wrote a memoir about the experience. We went into the garden and drank tea under the shade of some apple trees, only he and myself. Amidst other discourse, he told me he was just in the same situation, as when formally, the notion of gravitation came into mind. Why should that apple always descend perpendicularly to the ground, thought he to himself, occasioned by the fall of an apple as he sat in a contemplative mood. Why should it not go sideways or upwards, but constantly to the Earth's center? Assuredly, the reason is that the Earth draws it. There must be a drawing power in matter. It's an interesting image, though. The apple falling on his head, but it's not true. Number 3. Medieval Knights Were Rigid Here's one I personally like. The Medieval Ages were a time of knights, castles, kings, wizards, I think, and more. But while the image of a knight is iconic and classic, so is a certain belief about them. I mean, if you look at a knight, you'd think that their armor would make them very restrictive in their movements, even slow and clumsy. But in fact, the opposite was true. Granted, I'm sure the early models were pretty bad, but as the craft got better, the knights became much more limber and flexible in how they moved around in the armor. In fact, there was even a French knight who was so flexible in his armor that he could do all sorts of tricks and feats, including jumping onto his own horse. A modern team even replicated these feats, proving that he was in fact telling the truth about his armor, and thus debunking the myth about knights being immobile in that plate. Number 2. This is Sparta I love this story because it's a tale of the underdog versus the giants, a nation versus an empire, the Spartans versus the Persians. The battle at Thermopylae is one of the most important battles in history. It helped start the end of the Persian Empire and the beginning of the Greek one. But there's a legend that isn't exactly accurate. 
After two days of holding the Persians back, the Spartans and their allies were betrayed, and the Persians were able to circle around their forces and lock them in. When the Spartans realized this, they knew they were going to die, and they welcomed it. But their allies weren't so willing to die, so they let them leave. Only the 300 Spartans remained. Right? Wrong. In fact, a group of the allies stayed behind. They were called the Thespians. And when all the allies left, they stayed. And they fought to the death alongside the Spartans. Number 1. Christopher Columbus Discovered America Yep, this one is a classic. And with all the propaganda and things stating that Christopher Columbus did discover America, it is easy to fall into this lie. In fact, I believed it for years myself that he discovered it until someone opened my eyes to the truth. And the truth was horrifying. Now, most of the story you know about Christopher Columbus is pretty much true. He did get his blessing from the Queen of Spain to go out and find another route from Spain to India. He did have three ships that he used to sail around the world, but he did not land on what would be known as America. In fact, he landed a bit south of the East Coast. Places we know he landed on were the Caribbean, Haiti, and even Panama. But he never got to India like he promised the Queen of Spain. In fact, he was even a bit of a jerk to the locals. He unintentionally brought over diseases that their bodies weren't prepared for, and it caused them to pass away. And he even enslaved hundreds of locals and tried to present them to the Queen of Spain as a gift. She thankfully refused. Columbus did three different voyages across the Atlantic, but never once did he land in America, and even if he did, he wouldn't have discovered the New World, for it was already inhabited. And yet, many still celebrate Columbus Day, just as many think that Columbus discovered America. They'll all learn, eventually, I hope. What do you think about these fact myths? Let us know in the comments below, and take care.